Big 90. Our podcast is all about soccer, all things soccer. Soccer has arrived in town. We are ready to fight. They're classy too, man. I can wear this on a date. <laughs> People who are most successful are the ones who don't just give up. We have officially partnered up with Albemarle Paper Supply. Albemarle Paper Supply services paper products within the cities of Charlotte, Concord, Greensboro, Winston-Salem, Salisbury, Morrisville, and smaller cities in between. From fiber, plastic, and foam bowls, paper towels, tissues, napkins, takeout containers, gloves, to janitorial supplies, and much, much more, Albemarle Paper is dedicated to bring you the paper goods you need. Customers can pick up products directly at Albemarle Paper's warehouse located at 735 Henson Street in Albemarle, North Carolina, or products can be delivered to you at your business doorstep. Special player, it's a, it's a perfect fit for us. Perfect fit for what we're trying to build here. It's a, first of all, very, very good player. At the prime of his uh, career. He just turned 25 to three, three days ago. So that, that gives us a player that has a future here. We gave him a long contract. Also, we have a value. he has a value. He's a, he's a player that uh, has a reselling value. He's an asset to this club. Uh, incredible human being, very humble. You know, he wanted to come here. Again, we talked so many times. We want a player who wants to be here. We don't want a player who don't want to be here. Or they're thinking, or they are, want to be here for money. Of course, they're all paid, but uh, it's very, very important to have a players who say, hey, I really want to be in MLS, I really want to be in Charlotte, I want to play for that new club, I want to uh, join this journey that we all joined and, 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 and experiencing right now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, there's a bit of a joke. I called uh, Paolo Sosa who on Sunday, Saturday, who was ex-Poland uh, national team coach. He was just left for Flamengo, Brazil, to take over as a coach there. And I know Paolo for a long time. So I called him and I said, Paolo, Karol Świderski. And he said to me, what about him? And he said, uh, and I said, well, we like him. Uh, and he said, come on, you, it's, 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 he's a Serie A player, he's a Bundesliga, he's, a, he's not going to go to MLS. And I said, well, we more or less done the deal. I just want to talk to you a little bit more about him. He said, amazing player, amazing human being, amazing player. I can't believe that you got that, that player. That was Paolo Sosa, who was a big name in a, in a European soccer, and so it's a, it's it's just a testament for what we're trying to do. We we also having in addition to having amazing uh, ownership, uh, stadium, fantastic city full of uh, young, vibrant uh, people who love soccer. We also have a good good group, actually good, very good group of people who are actually trying to kind of bring the best possible players. We don't take no for answer and we trying to kind of build a roster that uh, we think it's a it's a competitive and a winning roster and it's not uh, by accident that we trying to pick the players who win because once you have a players who win they don't like to going back losing so they like to kind of continue winning and, and that's very important for us you've got 15 internationals in the squad you've got quality players in every line i feel like with Bukun in the back you've got sergio in the middle and now we've got Swiderski. like what are your expectations for the season I, my, my personal expectations or general expectations. I mean, it's like a look. You want to win every game. You, this is why we're doing this. I mean, winning on on and off the pitch. For me, winning, getting a player of uh, Carol quality is a winning off the pitch. Now it's the time for some of these guys to kind of show us what they can do and win on the pitch. Of course, this is expectations. We are a new club, but we're not only thinking about uh, being a, a club who plays. We want to be competitive. We want to win. We want to be a strong club. We, we, we think we know what we're doing. I think we're, we're going to field a very strong team. And there are a few more players coming while we speak. Yes, I mean, look, we, we're looking for more. There, there, will be, there will be more DPs. We have a, o, o, options. Uh, and this is what we build a club and a roster in a way that we can uh, cherry pick, if you like, at the end of the uh, roster building, who we want. So I think that will be a, a signing, pretty imminent. Uh, we we very close to 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 finalize the deals, but you know I can't obviously tell you much more because it's a very compl complex and and the, and the, and the, the very good players is not difficult. It's not easy to get these players over the line. There's always a issue or two. So you know, but hopefully soon we will we'll add uh, one or two more players. Fifteen out of the twenty-five players that you have don't have MLS experience, 
What would you say to the fans that maybe are concerned that, uh, given that the squad <clears throat> doesn't have that much MLS experience? Well, Pep Guardiola won the league in England. He didn't have any experience in England. He came from Bayern Munich. I mean, experience is relative. I mean, I would love to have a um, bunch of uh, fantastic uh, MLS players, but it was very difficult to get them. We tried a few. We, 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 it's not easy. It's, uh, it's uh, again, the player needs to want to come here. They, 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 you know, it's all about who wants to come here and how is it possible to do the deal. And um, what we didn't want to do, we didn't want to overpay for the sake of having a just MLS experience. And we didn't want to um, bring the player who doesn't really want to be here, but he would like to because of paycheck. That's that's not how how, how we want to do. Uh, so so this is, we don't think this is the biggest issue. We have a lot of experience of MLS. Like we have a, a Harrison who won the league. We have a Macoon who played 30 games last season. We have a Mora who played, you know, you know 25 games last season. Um, you know, we have a, we have a players with uh, with MLS experience. It's not that we don't have any. We have a Jordi Reina who was an ex DP in uh, in this league. You know, so it's not exactly we don't have we don't have a like some other clubs who have a only MLS experience or hardly any foreign. But we also had to follow the game model. Game model is very specific, and and uh, we we have to cherry pick players who actually can play that game model to give the best possible chance for um, for Miguel and Gel to kind of uh, uh, be 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 successful. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, we, we signed Sergio Ruiz and Riley McGreev and we didn't have a name. <laughs> so I guess that's relative. I mean, uh, you need to sell them the dream and the, and, the, and the journey and what we're trying to build here. And every player coming here knows that this is not the club that will play one, one season. This is the club that we're building to play for many seasons and be successful. And uh, so that's, the, that's what we're trying to send as a message across. It's not ideal, of course, if, if you some other more well-known clubs, it may be a little bit easier. But I think they, they're, they're drawn with the, you know, our, our dream and, and what we want to achieve and, and the group of people who are here. I mean, look, we have the youngest uh, coach in the history of MLS, but this coach, the coach that actually achieved already success that um, not many, of, if any, you, you can correct me, you know, uh, if any MLS coach has achieved winning a Copa Sudamericana at the tender age of 35. So it's, uh, it's all relative, in, in my opinion. It's about quality and, and the team and the group and the, and the, and the philosophy of the, of the club and the, and the players rather than just experience. It's because, you know, it's look this amazing stadium it's amazing city you know also i spoke with my friends uh, uh, with frankowski with klimala with books that they play here in, in mls you know and they say it's it's fantastic fantastic league and also i can improve here and uh, you know uh, always i can come back to europe but but i'm so happy to be here now You know, I don't spoke with coach a uh, long time, you know, just to uh, say, uh, he asked me about uh, when I can come here, you know, and and like this also he want to make one uh, video Zoom, you know, to to speak about how he want to play, how he want, uh, uh, how he want, uh, like, uh, how I need to play in, uh, in our team, you know, but, uh, but uh, I think we will speak now in, in Florida, but... What I know now, I think he, he likes to keep the ball, you know, and when we lose the ball, he wants to immediately attack and to, to recover the ball. And, and uh, I think this style is also good for me and, and for sure he checked my games to, to, you know, to... He know my style, you know. Me? Yeah. Ah, yes, I'm a striker, you know, I, I love this, you know, I love to score the goals and I hope in this season I can uh, support to our team to, to score a lot of goals. Zoran spoke about some offers that you had from clubs like Serie A. Why not go for a top five league and come to the MLS? What's attractive to you about the MLS? You know, yes, before I have some offers from, from Serie A, you know, but my club... Uh, in this time, they want more money, you know, and then this was difficult for for this club from from Serie A. And 
you know, in this season I don't score a lot of goals in uh, in the club, you know, and uh, maybe for for this, you know, I don't have also so, uh, too many offers now in in winter. But uh, I think I should my the best offer, and, and you know, it's America. This was my dream also, and and, and I'm so so happy to to be here. I've seen a lot of your videos. You're a great connector with the ball. You know how to move into space as well. Yeah. What would you say is your best quality as a striker? I think uh, I'm not like you know like a normal number ten and uh, number nine uh, who stay only in the box. You know, I I think I can play uh, out of the box. You know, I keep good the ball and uh, I can play also good uh, you know small games. Uh, You know this life here. You know it's it's uh, totally different. You know this uh, style of of uh, city. You know of, of all country. You know it's it's amazing. This building. You know I I don't have this in in, in Greece or or in Poland. Uh, and for sure this is uh, something something uh, special for me because, like I said before, this was my my dream to be in United States. You know, I was yesterday in dressing room, but I don't have time also to to speak with my teammates. Uh, just I say hello, you know, and after I go to to medical test, and and I think in in Florida we have a lot of times to to speak. What did uh, Jan tell you about his experience here so far? You know, we speak uh, I think all the time, yes, and he asks me all the time when I come, when I come, you know, and uh, <laughs> and finally I'm here, and yes, he's good guy, he's good player, and and uh, I think now in. Also in uh, Florida, we have more time to to be together, to speak, you know, because now also he he check apartments, you know, he want to take as fast as possible apartment for for him and for for uh, for the wife. Yeah, yeah, I spoke like I said before, you know, I spoke with with Jan or or uh, with uh, Patrick Klimala. He played in. Uh, in uh, New York uh, Red Bull, also with with Adam Buxa, uh, with uh, Frankowski who who played before in in Chicago, and everyone say me it's you know uh, when you come here you, you will see it's it's nice league you know uh, organization is it's fantastic and and everything is top in the club you know and, and uh, what I see here when I come you know it's like like they say. All right, well, last one here. Yeah, Zoran and uh, Miguel Angel, the coach, have spoke about. Wanting to build a very competitive team, wanting to make uh, playoffs the first season. H how do you see that playing out with you coming into the team as the first DP? Uh, you know, it's for me. This is not so important. You know, for me, it's important to to build. You know, good team to to be together and and to fight to be in in playoffs. Because you know, in first season, you know, you can be up, uh, but also you can you know start. Uh, not so good, but but I hope you know, like I spoke also with, with the coach in the beginning or with Zoran, you know, they want to build a really strong team, and I think also they bring uh, maybe some more players, you know, and then also uh, what I see yesterday in the in the training, you know, we have also some good players with with good quality, and and I hope we can achieve uh, our goals. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this, but I think yes, if it's possible, yes, I, I will take number 11. Does it mean something to you? You know, uh, when I was young, I play always with number 11. You know, and now also uh, in national team, you know, I, I I started also to play with number 11, and and I score many goals. You know, and I play play really good. You know, and I hope uh, this can help me. Also.